News Radio 600 WMT. Here in the WMT Morning Show at 726, Doug Wagner with you. Randy Lee is cooking up a heap and helping of news for you following Fox News here around 730 on the morning show. Joined now on the telephone by Iowa's Lieutenant Governor Kim Reynolds. Good morning, Lieutenant Governor Reynolds. How are you today? Good morning, Doug. I'm great. The weather is great, so uh, it's, it's a beautiful day. It is, and you know what? It's only going to get better. And not only that, it's it's only going to get better as far as some of the things that you and Governor Branstad have planned. There's uh, some events going on in Cedar Rapids, an hour of coding. There are seven elementary schools that are going to be getting involved in that here between the 10th and the 12th in Cedar Rapids, including Grant, Coolidge, Pierce, Johnson, Harrison, Kenwood, and Van Buren Elementary Schools. It's part of Computer Science Education Week that runs now through the 14th. You're familiar, obviously, with the Geometric Building and the Iowa Startup Accelerator. Now, yesterday, you all announced through the Iowa STEM Advisory Council and the governor's office some uh, grants that were given to schools across the state for an hour of coding, including two here in eastern Iowa, right? Yeah, I'm really excited about it. I tell you, we're really trying to drive awareness, and this is, as you indicated, marks the week of the Hour of Code uh, for Computer Science, and the governor signed a proclamation yesterday. We were very fortunate to have Code.org participate in the uh, ramp-up as well as Google, and through their participation, they uh, awarded six grants to the first six schools to sign up to participate in the Hour of Code. And so the first, English Valley Junior High in in North English, they received the $10,000 grant. And then Postville Community School received four. Sawyer Elementary School in Ames, $4,000. Corning, $4,000. Newton and Orange City, $4,000. So it's kind of distributed all across the state. But we're doing everything we can to really just expose students to drive their basic understanding of coding and the importance that it has on their future. Uh, And I'm really uh, happy and excited about the response that we had from school districts all across the state of Iowa. And we're going to continue to drive that because we want to make sure that our students are prepared for the job of the future. Kim Reynolds, Iowa's Lieutenant Governor, joining us on the WMT Morning Show. 728 here at Broadcast Park. We've got 27 degrees where we are. And Lieutenant Governor, this is all part of the Iowa STEM Advisory Council's initiative, Science, Tech, uh, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And th- this is designed to help create 21st century employees for a 21st century economy. Yeah, well, it's about economic development. It's about making sure that Iowa remains competitive and innovative for the future. And most importantly, as I indicated, it's about making sure that our students, when they leave high school, they're either ready for a career or they're ready for a post-secondary indi- uh, education. And, you know, there's there's projected like 62 to 72,000 new jobs between 2018 and 2020, and over half of those um, are related to computer and mathematics sciences. And, So we, again, we want to make sure that our kids have the tools that they need. And most importantly, as we continue to grow the economy, we're going to uh, be able to provide them great jobs right here in the state of Iowa. So we're going to give them the skills they need for the 21st century. And most importantly, we're going to keep that talent right here in the state of Iowa. Lieutenant Governor Reynolds, this is something you're very passionate about and the governor is very passionate about as well, science, technology, engineering, and math, and making sure our students are ready and prepared for a 21st century economy. You've been around the country doing presentations because of your role leading up this, uh, at Mm -hmm. least in my opinion, here across the state. What is the view of Iowa from the outside? I know you had the opportunity to talk with Steve Case when he was in Des Moines here recently. I did. You know what? We're a national model. The STEM Advisory Council really is a national model. I've had several other states, several other lieutenant governors, well, other countries. We've had from China, they've had a group that have come in to really take a look at what we're doing here in Iowa because we've really got a great infrastructure in place. It's been a bipartisan effort. We have great support from the legislature with a $5.2 million appropriation, which has really been key. Not only the infrastructure that we have in place with the six regional hubs, dynamic uh, hub managers, But it's a public-private partnership, so I've been able to take the public funds that the legislature has provided for this initiative and really leverage that with uh, private dollars. And so we really have been able to scale this, going from 40,000 students the first year to reaching 100,000 students. And just like little Megan Weiss, who was at the press conference yesterday, a seventh (laughs) grader from Stowell Junior High in West Des Moines, she came in and she demonstrated coding right at the press conference. She stole the show. She has a passion for soccer. She loves science. 
Uh, she was introduced to this through code.org. She demonstrated Scratch, so there's a lot of programs out there that educators can use. And she did some coding right during the press conference, uh, and it was just so much fun to watch her do that. And she just indicated you know, how important this is, how much she liked it. She really didn't know if she would like it or if she could do it. But that's why programs like this are so important, because it exposes students to what it's about. They see for themselves it's fun. They can do it. It drives problem-solving, creative thinking, innovation. And, gosh, that's exactly what we need in Iowa to continue to be competitive and continue to grow our economy with the best and brightest Iowa students. And especially, you know, for people who are fans of smaller government, it's nice to hear this public-private initiative oh. talk. So it's good that you have those uh, partners out there with you as well. Well, it is. Just like Google, who's over in the western side of the state, Facebook has been involved. I mean, but just community, I mean, businesses all across the state, Rockwell Collins. I mean, I could, I'm afraid to, you know, when you start the list, you get in trouble with <laughs> John Deere. But I can't tell you, and you're doing great things over there, uh, with technology and with innovation and with the, the Iowa Big. I mean, there's just tremendous things happening across the state. And my goal is just honestly to continue to raise awareness because it is so important for these students. And it really drives that critical thinking, that problem solving, applying what they're learning in school to the real world by giving them opportunities to do internships, to really interact with business and industry. But most importantly, I mean, these are first graders and second graders that have it's K through 8. Actually, preschool can participate in some of these programs, but to get that hands-on, and I think kids learn differently, and that's what's so important for students that maybe don't think that they can do that or it's not something that would, they would ever be interested in, mm -hmm. to really light that spark in them. It is so fun to travel the state and see that spark get lit and the excitement in their eyes. They don't even know you're in the room. They're so engaged in what they're doing, and that's that's really exciting to see that happening across the state. It's an awesome opportunity. Thank you so much, Lieutenant Governor Kim Reynolds, the uh, state of Iowa's Lieutenant Governor. Thanks for joining us here on the WMT Morning Show. Safe travels today and happy holidays. Oh, happy holidays to you, and thank you again for giving me the opportunity. Go STEM, right? Exactly. Go STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. We will talk to you soon, Lieutenant Governor. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. It's